We got some Lions news for you folks, and we're going to be talking about it. A Lions coach has left the Detroit Lions to go to the Carolina Panthers and follow Deuce Staley. We're going to break this down, what it means for the team, you know, what ramifications it have. Obviously, we need to now fill a spot, so we're going to talk all about that. And I got an interesting I got an interesting player, potentially, who could fill that spot. And we'll see if what you think about that. But before we get into today's video, if you're a fan of the Detroit Lions in interviews and talking from a fan's perspective as well as a former player's perspective, go ahead and subscribe to Lions Nation Unite because that's all we do and we have a fun time doing so. Without further ado, let's get this thing going. <laughs> Lions defensive line coach Todd Wash is leaving the Detroit Lions and following Deuce Staley to the Carolina Panthers doing the exact same job. So it's a lateral move. Why is this taking place? Well, we really don't know, but maybe he's good friends with Deuce Staley. He is a part of the reason why the Detroit Lions young defensive line was really starting to do well getting to the quarterback. Obviously, it does help when you have an Ada Hutchinson, but if you look at James Houston and some of the other players like Ali McNeil, he's a good piece, a good coach to the Detroit Lions. And another aspect I really like is he looks exactly like Mark Orm from Orm's Forum, so that really sucks there. But this news came out from Glazer from ESPN talking about how he's moving over there to be their coach. What does it mean for the defensive line? Well, we still need a spot for a coach for that position, obviously. Can we find somebody that is better than Todd Wash? I believe we can. I don't think he's the end-all, be-all coach. I think he was a good coach, but at the same time, I think we can find somebody to replace what he has done for the Detroit Lions defensive line. I think he can. He's only been here for two years, and yes, he did help out this young defensive line, but to me, you know, he's, he's a good coach, but he's not the greatest. You still have a guy named, I don't know if you ever heard this guy, but uh, Dan Campbell, the, the real piece to the Detroit Lions coaching staff. So he is leaving for a lateral move. Now, I got an interesting, interesting uh, idea here. We don't know who potentially the defensive line coach could be. There's been one person I've been talking about quite a bit. And what if the Detroit Lions decide to cut Michael Brockers, and we all know that's probably going to happen, but they decide to hire him as the defensive lines coach or be part of the coaching staff for now the defensive line? Because obviously he's a good leader. Obviously, with his interviews, it sounds like he wants to be here, but he can't be here during a player with the lack of play that he does and the high amount of money he takes. So what if you cut him and you make him a defensive lines coach or helping out with the defensive line? That could be an interesting move. We did that with multiple coaches, in all honesty, that we have here. Most notably... Death Taxes, and Don Muehlbeck, who was let go but became a coach here for the Detroit Lions. So what if we decide to do the same thing with Michael Brockers? I think he could be a interesting hire for sure because he does bring leadership and he can help out the defensive line. Already knows it. He's a veteran, well-respected. So that makes a lot of sense to me. I don't know if he wants to be a coach, but... Not saying he'd be the whole defensive lines coach, but a, a piece of that. There's going to be a lot of turnover, you suspect, here defensively. And so having someone like him could stabilize a little bit. But Todd Wash did help out the Jacksonville Jaguars when he was there, and then he helped out the Detroit Lions. Now he's going to go over there to the Carolina Panthers can we find somebody that's equal or better to him? That will be the question going forward. Some other interesting 
news that's going on as well that we can talk about is how Ben Johnson wants to stay here for the Detroit Lions, and he wants to continue to build this thing. He did an interview with the Detroit Lions on their YouTube channel with Tim 20 Man, and he feels like this thing needs to be built more. It's not finished. I agree with him 100%. Wants to see it through. Plus, his stock will rise. I tell you what, if the Lions go and win a playoff game or, or win the division and they continue to do well on offense, there will be plenty of jobs opening up for him, so he's banking on himself. No doubt about it, I think that it was a smart move for him. So I like that. And obviously, you got to pay a raise. I mean, we can't deny that. The money there would does make the decision a little bit easier for you. But if you used to look around at all the jobs, why not bank on Detroit and continue to build this thing, continue to make this a team to be reckoned with? And you can see it. We see all the steps this team is going in the right direction. you got the analysts saying the Lions are going to be here. You know, like they're going to win the NFC North or they're going to one of the contenders for the the NFC itself. But I think another part of it is just like we've seen today with Todd Wash, just like we're seeing with multiple coaches. They're getting poached. When your coach is getting poached, that's another sign there, folks. It, it's, it stinks when you lose a coach, but it's also a good sign that people like you. Hell, look, the Philadelphia Eagles, they lost both their coordinators. San Francisco, they're losing their coordinators left and right, and they still do well. So it's a good sign. It's fun. It's nice. Ben Johnson's correct. We are still not, he's not done. He's not finished, and we need to bring this thing to the next level. And TJ Hawkinson loving it that the Lions brought him back, even though he's a Viking now. Lions are here to stay. The Lions are here for the next level. And so I am happy to see all this happen. But we got videos dropping here every single day. It's going to be a quick one. We will get back to the live streams next week. I'm starting to slowly get better from this COVID. Appreciate all the, the thoughts and prayers out there. It was a rough one. It definitely was a rough one. It kicked my butt, I got to say. Last night was the first time I ate, ate something that wasn't soup. And boy, oh boy, this one kicked me in my face hardcore. So happy it's starting to get better. Hopefully by next week I'll be back to normal again. Get back on the live streams, talk some Detroit Lions, and have a good time doing so. With that said, folks, adios.